Oh yeah, we cooked it. How are you doing? Hey guys, hey. my name's Lauren, this is Matt. We're gonna be your chefs today. Um, we want you guys to sit down, kick back, relax, enjoy some great food, and laugh at our really bad jokes, okay? So guys, um, what are we gonna go ahead and start with? Raising your hand and getting involved. So the first thing we're gonna go ahead and do you guys is we're gonna go ahead and raise your hand if you guys want your food to start tasting better. So you guys, all right, raise your hand if you want your food to start being better for you. No, come on, you guys. And raise your hand if you're not going to raise your hand no matter what we say. You guys, we're watching you guys, okay. <laughs> All right, guys, have you ever tried cooking without food or not? Have you ever tried cooking without food? You ever tried cooking without oil or grease or water? What happens? It burns. It scorches, right? All right, I'm going to take you through a couple of key points and what you need to look for in great cookware, all right? Start off. All right, guys, so there's three things that you guys want to look for when you're looking at cookware. The first thing is seven layers from the bottom all the way up to the very top. This will prevent hot spots. It will also help you guys not to have to cook without water, oil, and grease. On top of that, you also want a triple rolled edge. The reason for this is if you bang it, drop it, it won't bend or work. On top of that, though, you want to put this lid nice and easy on that triple rolled edge, and it's going to create a vapor seal. We're going to explain the importance of that in just a few minutes. But number three, what you want to look for is you want to look for cookware. That is 100% made in the USA. Not All in the USA, right, you guys. <laughs> Stomp on the ceiling again. Stomp on the ceiling so, again. Right, want that, guys, but we're going to show you guys something really cool here, all right? So what we're going to go ahead and do first is we're going to go ahead and do a taste oh, yeah. test. We're going to see if you can tell the difference of the cookware, or the, of the carrots, just by the cookware. All right. So let's go ahead and not introduce our favorite tool. Guys, this is the kitchen craft. Kitchen cutter. It's pretty awesome, guys. It's three pieces here. What I like to point out is the base here. See that rubber suction here? You see this lever? It's very easy. If I can do it, you can do it. A little pressure on the lever. Turn it over. You have 300 pounds of suction right there. If it ever goes missing, girls, look in the garage because you actually pull a dent out of the car with this. It's pretty handy. We're going to slide the stem piece down just like that. And we're going to get the cut. Four cones here. Very simple. We have slotted teeth. We have our teeth for the slotted grooves, all right? You can all follow this. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. So you gotta watch here. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. Just like that. One more time. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. This is pretty awesome, guys. You can put your hands on top of this, underneath it, even inside, pretty much everywhere except in the hot part. Or else you're gonna get what, Lauren? Finger food. How's that chef salad, guys? All right. This is actually a lot better than our own mom, that you guys are probably familiar with. But this is even the deluxe version. It even comes with the band aids. So we call this knuckle buster. Think of the past. Watch this work here. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and cut up some carrots. But Matt, what is so special about these carrots? Carrot. Boom. They're mine. First of all, two. Uh, we scrubbed and washed these, but what didn't we do? We didn't peel them because we're gonna keep what? We put vitamins in them right here. We're gonna keep that in the food. Okay. This comes with three speeds. You just start the motor. <sighs> just get warmed up. Sorry, guys. <laughs> it comes with slow, medium, and get to the chopper. <laughs> And look how fast he cut those up. How, many, how long would that have taken you to cut up with a knife? And how many fingers would it cost you, right? All right, pretty quick. Right. We'll cut another one. Like All so. right, so while you do that, though, um, I'm going to introduce the cookware that we're going to use to do our comparison test, okay? So the first one is all clad. Have you guys ever heard of all clad before? Some of you guys out here? It's actually pretty expensive cookware. Um, this one alone was $180. However, the problem that we have with this all clad is that it's a single layer from the bottom, or well, two layers from the bottom, and then a single layer all the way around. What this looks like, if you cut it in half, is this. This right here is why you have to use a lot of butter, grease, oil, and water to cook with. We want to eliminate that and start being healthy. So the next thing that we're gonna, the next part that we're gonna do is kitchen craft, you guys. This is kitchen craft, I explained it to you before. Seven layers from the bottom all the way up to the very top. We're gonna to see what that vapor seal does in just a minute um, because we wanna make sure that we don't have to cook with water in this, right? But first, listen to the difference just when we tap it, okay? Huge difference, y'all. So, Matt, will you please fill these up with carrots? And then while you do that, I'm gonna go ahead and 
add a few more vegetables to this. So okay. the first vegetable I'm going to add is corn, guys. Men are allergic to this. Kids like it because it's sweet. Um, corn is actually really good for you. If you don't cook the enzymes out of it, corn is actually a really good natural blood sugar stabilizer. You're, some people are diabetic here, or everyone knows someone that's diabetic. Have them eat corn as long as they don't put the enzymes out. It's going to be perfect for them, okay? The next thing we're going to go ahead is add um, some cabbage to this. Then we're also going to go ahead and add, um, uh, let's, let's go ahead and add squash. yellow squash. Yeah, yeah. I squash. A ton yeah. of vitamin C in that. A ton of vitamin C. And then some broccoli. There's always one. I, who, who doesn't like broccoli? You know, a couple people, I didn't like broccoli in the past, but tried to remove that water. You don't get that like, pungent smell, that bitter taste. Uh, broccoli is seven times more vitamins than any other veggie in the garden. A number one deterrent for internal cancers, breast and colon especially. And plus, he has the best hairdo out of any of us. So check that out. We're going to rock out with some broccoli right there, too. All righty. Mm -hmm. And the next, last thing I'm going to add is some red bell pepper. Mm. Does anyone know what the difference between red and green bell pepper is? It's a toughie. The color, right? Yeah, there you go. Well, speaking of colors, guys, actually red bell pepper actually has been on the vine the longer. Green is less red. Red is the most ripe, okay? So it has a lot more iron in it. That's colorful. Okay. Yeah, Ooh, so look at this, there. guys. So what we're going to go ahead and do is speaking of colors, does anyone know what the hunger colors are? What colors make you hungry? Not hunger games, the hungry colors. Uh, I'm a girl, there we go. Oh, there you go. Awesome out, Lauren. All right, so we have red and yellow as the hunger colors, red guys. Red Robin, Chick fil A, Wendy's, Sonic, Dairy Queen, Domino's, McDonald's. You already said the Sonic. Oh, I lose, right? There we go. All right, guys. The there's a reason that all of these are red and yellow. It makes you hungry when you look at it, when you're driving down the road. Ooh, boop, I'm hungry. Oh, okay. Alright, let's go. Alright, so those are the hungry colors, guys. But speaking of hungry... Who's hungry? Alright, well, let's go ahead and then get these vegetables started. So the first thing we need to do is, once we have the vegetables in the pot, what do we need to do next? Mama says you gotta have water. Well, Mama says water's the devil. Well, Mama's right in this case, and the reason for that is we're gonna go ahead and add water to all these vegetables right here, right? Okay, okay. Alright, and then we're gonna go ahead and put the lid on. Alright, there we see you. So then, what we need to do is we need to go ahead and put this on the burner. Well, guys, I have news for you. Dr. Mayo at Mayo Clinic says that your vegetables are dead after over 180 degrees uh, boiling in them, right? Well, guys, hmm. water boils at what temperature? 212. 212. Good one. Anytime you boil the water or your vegetables in 212 degree water, it's going to kill the vegetables and take all the vitamins and nutrients out. So, you do that. Put this on 112 degrees, because that's or 212 degrees, because that's what it boils at. Check them, stab them, fry them, make sure they're getting dead. Not yet. Keep cooking the crap out of them. And then what do you do? You take this off. But then what do you need to do after that? Get rid of that. Get rid of the water, right? So then you go ahead and drain the water. Whoa. Guys, we didn't even cook these vegetables. We only did a light rinse. And look at the color right here. What is that, guys? Exactly. That is all of your vitamins and nutrients that is going down the drain. But instead of putting them down the drain this time, what we're going to go ahead and do, the all clad is going to need all the help they can get. So we're going to go ahead and pour this over the all clad carrots. We're going to put this aside. We're going to turn the burner up to medium to low is all you need to know, 180 degrees, okay? So we're going to go ahead and put this right here without water. We do not have any water in this anymore. So, we need a celebrity chef. Who's going to be our celebrity Media. chef? Voluntary, right there. Right here? All right, perfect. What is your name? Christine. Christine. Thanks for okay. coming out. So, Christine, everyone welcome Christine. She's going to be our celebrity chef today. Now, Christine, when you see vapor coming from this, not steam because we don't have water in it, it's going to be vapor coming from the top of this, you need to let us know. And why is that? So, our vegetables yeah. don't overcook, right? Work, right? So, if our vegetables do overcook, whose fault is that? Christine. Not ours, it's Christine. We're good. So Christine, you make sure you watch that. But while we do, who out there likes the salad that you're eating right now? Pretty light, tasty, yeah. fresh. It's also pretty healthy. We got the recipe from Healthy Cooking. That same recipe you guys are eating right now, three times a week, if you eat that salad, you're going to cut your risk of internal cancers by 85%. So you're like a third of the way there, right there. We're dealing with big numbers, we're dealing with bigger flavor. Let's make that salad right now, right quick, all right? We already know where I'm pulling out. The T three hundred four Terminator. <laughs> All right. Follow me now. See the base. Oh, can't even. Corey, stick your in the base. Your lever. Your stem piece. Go right like that. And what do we do? Eat cheat cone home. All right. All right. So we're gonna use that first cone, and we're gonna go ahead and cut.
about zucchini. Now, ladies, zucchini should be one of your favorite vegetables. And the reason for that is because it's filled with vitamin E. This is really good for your skin, hair, and nails, alrighty? So, Matt, do the honors. Step one. All right. Just and like that. How quick. Just throw the stuff away. Easy peasy. Now, imagine if that a zucchini was a potato. What would you have? You put this in the oven. 450 degrees, you have fat free potato chips. Exactly All right. 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 So, Matt, go ahead and switch cones because we are now going Ready? to our yellow squash. Oh, boom. Thank you. Yep. Just can't believe it, man. Imagine again that this yellow squash was a potato. What would we have? Ruffle potato, potato chips. chips. You can fancy with them. Oh, well, that's great. All right. So, Matt, go ahead and switch cones again, and we're going to go back to ZT. Now, guys, quiz. What are we going to pretend this is? A potato? A potato. Let's and the it. reason for that is because I absolutely love hash browns. And look what this would be making right now. Easy peasy, ready to eat in less than three seconds, hash browns. Nice cook in less we're than three done. seconds. And we're done. I love onions in my hash browns. I do too. I don't like cutting them up. It makes them cry. Nah, it takes too long. Alright, <laughs> right, well, I said it takes too long. She says it makes me cry. We're going to avoid all of that. We quartered this large onion right here. Watch us go. Just like that. Now I kept something for you guys right here. Look at this. Anything you guys want your food, I held on to right at the top. All that skin, fertilizers, pesticides, people handle on it, and bouncing around the shopping cart floor. Yeah. Gone. Right there. And you got slithered onions right for your French onion soup, your hash browns, even how many coleslaw if you want. I love coleslaw. How many of you guys like coleslaw? Yeah, we like coleslaw. How many make your own coleslaw? A lot of hands went down there, right? It takes a little bit of time to do. Yeah. But check this out. Well, I have, I have red cabbage and green cabbage. This cabbage is 49 cents. This cabbage is 29 cents. However, that full slot at the store, you go, it's what, $5.99 a pound? It is. You know? And so what do you have? You just have some guy in the back doing exactly what I'm doing right here. And you get that at home, pull that bag out, and it smells like it's been there for two weeks. You know why that is? Because it's been there for two, two weeks. weeks, guys. All right, yeah. let's see that color right here. Look at that. How fast was that? We just made coleslaw impressive mm -hmm. in under 10 seconds, basically without me talking, guys. All right, so we're going to switch cups again. And we are going to go ahead and chop up two more vegetables. The first one being celery. Ooh. Here you go. Pull your flosses when they eat. Oh, no. Oh, okay, actually, the trend. Yeah, all right, yeah. guys. This is really cool about this. Very fun. Anything you guys don't want in your food, especially that like stringy particles you guys like the floss in celery, we're gonna totally get rid of that. How are we gonna do that? We're just gonna aim it towards the back of the hopper, okay? Get to the hopper. And you guys can see in the front there, you see, follow me down, you see it falling down right here, just like that. The whole celery string right there. What do you have? Gorgeous, tender pieces of celery. Does anyone know what this vegetable is right here? Space veggie. Not alien food, no. This is buttered up squash. Most people buy these in little chopped up cubes already, or you know, already chopped up with brine cut off because they don't want to deal with the brine. Well, guys, we have good news for you. What is that, Matt? It's a couple. We don't have to deal with it. All right, we just saw that. This is actually very daunting, very hard to do with that thick. That's a very thick brine. We're going to put it to the back of the hot one. All right, just like this. That corner is right out of that butter and squash. And you guys, butter and squash is amazing. That one stick has more vitamin C in it and a whole bag of carrots. And do not tell your kids that that's not cheese. That's what we call the cheese plant, guys. Christine, what is that? We have vapor? Vapor. Okay, guys. Good job, Christine. I'm going to give her a round of applause. Here is your prize right here for you. Now, guys, what we're going to go ahead and do is we are going ahead and take the kitchen craft vegetables that have been cooking for up to four minutes off the kitchen craft, uh, off the burner. Now, guys, being kitchen craft, it has seven layers. You can take a kitchen craft off the burner that's been up to 180 degrees, and it will continue cooking at 180 degrees for up to an hour, guys. So we're going to go ahead and let this cook. That saves a lot of time and energy. But what doesn't save a lot of time and energy or the flavor is going to be this all cloud pan with the watered carrots, all right? Ugh. So we're going to go ahead and put these carrots on, and what do we need to do? we got to boil them. we had to boil them. So we had to turn the heat up to 212 degrees. Make carrot soup. Make carrot soup. We're gonna let these continue to, uh, or these cook, and these continue to cook off the burner. Alrighty. And while we do that, I gave Matt a chore. I wonder if he's already done. No need to be. I don't even worry about that. That's like future Matt's problems. Let's <laughs> talk about the dishes, guys. This all T three hundred four stainless. This is how easy it is. You guys see me unlock it just like that. Oh my goodness. Unlock it from the table. This go dunks in. 
Wipe it down, you can sanitize it with any kind of cloth, polish it up, there's your base, your stem piece the same, wipe it down, get it sanitized, put it under water if you want, it's not gonna it. These cones, what I do is I just Michael Jordan them right into some soapy water, and then right into some fresh water, get them rinsed off, dry them out, and I hang this up. I put this right in the middle of the kitchen. Why do I put in the kitchen? Because we use it all the time, and well, it I just think looks it looks good. good. So, oh yeah, yeah. she uses it daily, but we love it right there, and you'll use it a lot, guys. That is the Terminator. Yeah, well guys, um, I have another pop quiz for you, because it is coming back to school time, and so there's going to be quite a few more pop quizzes during this show right sure. here. So the first question for you guys is, what is the most expensive room in the house? Anyone guess? <laughs> the cool voice is the makeup drawer. Uh, well. <laughs> Your makeup drawer? No, <laughs> really. <laughs> she says she's got to buy all your twice at all. This is makeup. <laughs> not with anyone. Guys, this is the kitchen. The most expensive room in the house is the kitchen. If you really think about it, think about everything you have in the kitchen. The granite countertops, the cabinets, the light fixtures, the floors, and then your cookware. Alrighty. So Matt, uh, please demonstrate an all too familiar sound for us. Alright, and bring them on up here. Oh, geez. <laughs> Some people are like, oh, that looks familiar. We yeah. hope not. Just keep that to yourself, guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So if this looks anything like your cookware at home, we're going to go over this real quick. Guys, who recognizes this? We call this oh, right. the wedding pot. Why is that? It smells like wedding bells. Wedding bells, all right. Um, but guys, forget the wedding bells on this wedding pot. Just keep the ring and throw this pot away. And the reason for that is because this is a copper bottom pan, okay? This means that it's a single layer, or two layers on the bottom and then a single layer all the way around. What we saw again right here. And what do we have to use? Water, grease, oil. Stuff that you don't want to use when you're cooking healthy. Alrighty. So then on top of that though, guys, one of the biggest things with copper bottom um, pots is that more than likely the handle is just glued on. Well guys, when the pot gets hot, what happens <laughs> to glue when it gets hot? It melts. So imagine this, you have chicken noodle soup for your boyfriend, your grandma, not feeling so good. Oh, here's your chicken. Oh, yeah. oh my yeah. God, so bad. All you have left is the handle and they have a whole pot of soup, including the pot, on their lap. And the reason for that is because the glue melted the handle off, guys. Throw this away, it's a safety concern, and it's just not healthy. Yikes. Teflon. You guys know this? Teflon, right? After about six uses, it becomes... Teflon, invented by the DuPont Chemical Company as a non-stick surface back in the day. It is known to kill any kind of birds. If you guys are cooking with this, you can have any kind of birds in your house, any kind of fowl, it could kill them. Google it after the show, guys. Teflon toxicosis. They actually have to tell you on the box that if you get one scrape in this, as soon as you do, you have to throw that pan away. Why? Because Teflon is now linked to internal stomach cancers. But if you did that, this pan will probably cost you about $700 at the end of your life. Okay, that extra pepper and potatoes might not be extra pepper. It's just not safe to eat, it's not safe to cook with. Just get rid of it, please, please, please. And then we have the classic. Now, you guys, we are from Texas. We know what cornbread tastes like out of a cast iron pan. However, we also know that cornbread tastes like out of a cast iron pan tastes like it did about 80 years ago. That's like Nana's cooking. Uh huh. And the reason for that is because Teflon is, or Teflon, cast iron is actually just. Sand, okay, and so when it heats up, it becomes very, very coarse. What that means is that over time, you'll start seeing this film on the outside. Well, guys, your cornbread's cooking on the inside, then you have this film on the outside. Well, what do you think that film is over time if it becomes coarse? Your cornbread. So, another thing though know, with that is that we can't wash that film on the outside off or on the inside, and the reason for that is because you cannot use soap. And water on Teflon, or on Teflon, Teflon is on, on the brain, man. my mind. You cannot use that though on cast iron. And the reason for that is because it'll ruin it. Now, when you treat it and treat it and treat it, eventually it starts rusting just like this too. It just becomes unsanitary. Now, we actually had a guy come up to us in the last show and was like, you are stepping on my toes. My cast iron makes my cooking taste just like my grandma's. Well, what did we just learn? It's probably just probably grandma's. Probably grandma's cooking. Yeah. So go ahead, do yourself a favor. Get your kitchen sanitary and throw the Teflon away. Alrighty. The Teflon is definitely something she doesn't like you guys have caught on. <laughs> oh, the cast iron. But throw last, the cast iron away. But not least, you guys. If you take anything from the show, I'm glad you guys sat down. Please take this home with you. Go home and throw this away. This is aluminum. Seven countries do not sell 
aluminum cookware and you could eat off of aluminum because it's directly linked to a ton of problems, internal cancers and most of at least stuff I can't really remember, Alzheimer's, Alzheimer's, it's linked to that. So we want to show you guys something you can do at home. We encourage you to do it, but don't use your best dish rag to do this. Got a piece of aluminum pan here. I got some tap water here. Restaurants in America love aluminum. It cooks fast. It cleans fast. But I used to work in a restaurant. We got scotch bright right here. There's no metal in this pad. I got a little bit of water here. We're going to clean up after work. Or actually, even clean meal. We're going to get ready to cook on this right away. And just after that, little scrub there, guys. What I want to show you here. Why wait to sit? You want to show them that, Lauren? Your body cannot process that aluminum goes right to the brain, guys. Please, 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 not a good idea to eat your cookware. You're not even allowed to feed pets off aluminum bowls here in America. Petco, PetSmart, they don't have it. It's all stainless. If it's not good enough for our pets to eat off of, it's definitely not good enough for us, okay? Let's get rid of this. Let's show them something we could really work with. All right, guys, so you've seen the rest, so let's go ahead and look at the best, you guys. This is Kitchen Craft. As I have been telling you guys, it has seven layers. What are those seven layers made out of? Three layers of aluminum alloy, one layer of magnetic steel, and then you have three more layers of surgical stainless steel. Nice. Now guys, this is just not normal surgical stainless steel. This is going to be T304. Some of you might have T304 in your bodies right now. If you have a hip replacement, if you have screws in your knees, spine, anything like that, Sorry, but you probably do have to put a four in there, <laughs> so the that's good. Yeah, you're like the Terminator. But guys, if T304 is safe enough to be in your body, it's certainly safe enough to eat off of. And this is Kitchen Craft, alrighty? So, speaking of, who's hungry? I'm hungry. I'm hungry too. Let's so, let's go ahead and take these all five carrots off. Alright guys, these are the watered down carrots. Now the good news is, is that it does not have Teflon in it. But I'm thankful for that, obviously. So we're going to go ahead and what we need to do before we serve these is we're going to have to go ahead and drain them. Ooh. All right. Now you're going to explain that. Yeah. It's real easy. This is that. That's it. It's just how it went. You guys ever had Starbucks before? Here's what we do. We pour the water off the ground, so the ground's away. We drink the good stuff. Get ready for the day. We've been doing a little bit backwards now. If you can see, pour the water off the ground, throw the water away, eat the ground. And then, after we throw that all our way, what do we got to do? We throw our flavor away, we got to get it back. So we got our veggies, right? We're eating three times a week. We're eating healthy, we're exercising. But we don't know why our food tastes like nothing, and our blood sugar, so why our medication not working? You guys know a kid would probably eat a raw carrot before he eats a cooked one? Because it has all the flavor in it, right? It's just rude. All right, guys. And speaking of that, this is an artery chart. This is what you guys start with when you're very first okay. babies. And then this is where you end with, all right? But guys, this ending one is not the most concerning to us. It's actually right in between these two right here. And the reason for that is, do you know the average age of the artery between these two ones right here? In America. No? At 11 years old, guys. The average age between these two arteries right here is 11 years old. It is your job to make sure that your kids eat healthy and we're about to show you a fun, healthy, and quick way to do that. So let's go ahead and get tasting. Let's do it. All right. I want to pass out these normal people's carrots. Pass out the normal carrots. And while he does that, you guys, I am going to go ahead and before, actually, before I, you do that, let's do monkey see, monkey do, okay? Oh. So the first thing I'm going to do is this has been sitting off the burner for about four minutes now, right? Or, well, actually, about 12 minutes. About 12 minutes, a long yeah, time. 12 minutes now. And so you're going to go ahead and feel the bottom and the top at the same time and do it quickly because it's so hot. Matt, demonstrate. Boom. Okay, one more time. Boom. Ooh. All right, so go ahead I'm and feel those. Yeah, you, guys, you guys can definitely do it, okay? Here we go. I'm going to pass out these normal normal people watering carrots, all right? So we're going to pass those out first because we're going to taste these. Or we're going to try to taste these in first thing, okay? Go ahead. I got paper towels. I have forks. All right. blah, 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 blah. Now all y'all had a chance to feel this. Now watch when I blow the lid off. Guys, look at that. The cabbage is still purple. The corn is still bright yellow, just looking tasty as ever. The red bell pepper is still a red bell pepper. It didn't mix all the different colors. Why? Because we didn't have water in this. Also, it has all the smell. Smell this. That's what vegetables are supposed to smell like. So Matt, here you go. Do the honors. So do that. Oh, Lauren's here. Oh, and dinner is 
Scherzer on the silver platter, guys. That's how I like it. All right. <laughs> we're going to pass these out, guys, right here, right now. And that's what we call a happy meal. Now, go ahead. So, now it's my turn to do the dishes. We take turns every single time. What do carrots do when you cook them in a dish, in a pot? It forms that sugar line on the outside. It's all the natural sugars that orange little sugar line. Well, guys, let me show you how kitchen craft is easy peasy to clean up, all right? So what we're gonna go ahead and do is we have this right here. We're gonna go ahead and take a paper towel. We didn't wipe this, we didn't have soap on this water. We're just gonna go ahead and swipe it simply, just like this. Guys, you have a clean pot going into the dishwasher. Yes, I said dishwasher. These are 100%, everything kitchen craft made is 100% uh, safe in the dishwasher for you guys, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and have an easy cleanup. And how are those, how are the vegetables how out there, guys? Right? Those are the carrots, right? The taste, corn tastes like corn. Probably tastes like rubber. People said they didn't know corn tasted like corn. And that tastes like butter and salt. Yeah, you like yeah. broccoli now, don't you? Ah, yeah, you're like, oh gosh, I don't know what to do into this. <laughs> well, we didn't cook it in water. That's the secret. It's pretty crazy. Which one did we cook without water, Lauren? Right? Without water? This one. Which one tastes better? This one. Which one looks better? This one. Which one's 100% very made? Kitchen craft. Which one am I holding? This one. That's the only difference I can hold up, guys. Right. We're really excited you guys came out here and joined the show with us. That's all the time to give us per show. Yeah. Stay around for the next one if you want. But we're really excited we come here out just to see us once a year. We know a lot of you guys sat down just to take a break. We know a lot of you guys sat down, you know, kind of just have something to eat. That's okay. We promise that. We know you guys probably don't know what you're doing here. And that's okay. We've all been there. We'll come out too. But we know that a lot of you guys really enjoyed what you saw. You loved it. Only cook we made 100% made in America, healthier cooking, no water, no grease, saving money, yeah. less space, less time. Yeah. We come to the show loaded with these specialty show prices in the max, guys. We're excited to show them to you guys. Anyone interested in the opportunity page and color brochure on this? I'm you guys. Great. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. Like, okay. So, more cactus. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> <No>. <laughs> All right, guys. So, this is the color brochure. This is everything that Kitchen Craft has to offer. All right. Um, then you flip over to this page right here. This is going to be your opportunity page. This is some, it gives you an opportunity to do something really nice for you and your family. All right. So, guys, not, where can they get this? A couple places, really. You can get it here, definitely. Like, I don't see why not. It's a no brainer. Um, at the show, or we actually can do this. Uh, we come to your house, we do an at home show dinner party. Mm -hmm. But that is the same thing we're doing here at home. We come to your house to do it. Uh, we haven't done one of those in a few months. It's been a while because you need about seven couples. And when's the last time you rang about 14 people? Mm -hmm. Plus, we're not going to leave to get something. Yeah. So, one time we go to like five in the morning. Turns but, out they just wanted breakfast. They already had their list ready. They just wanted to turn Yeah, they just breakfast. wanted breakfast. Yeah. All right, that's okay. Well, no, we um, like that. Well, guys, let me go ahead and. Um, a lot of people ask us, can we get pieces? Can we get sets? Yeah. So let's go over that with you guys real quick. You get pieces? You get sets? Yeah. Yep. All right. So, guys, the first thing that I want to go over with you guys, because it is one of my favorite tools, is the kitchen cutter, guys. This is the kitchen cutter. Now, you guys saw us chop up the salad with it. Um, you guys also saw us chop up a few vegetables that you guys had uh, cooked with it. But, guys, think even bigger. Think chopping up nuts, garlic, cheeses, cheese platters, salsa, um, salsa soups, anything and everything that you want to do with the stool, you can. This is going to be your chainsaw heartbeat of the kitchen. Alrighty. Um, the next thing I want to go over with you guys, this is our gourmet cooker. It's like a crock pot. Yeah, well we're going to go over a few, um, a little bit more about this in just a few minutes. However, let's start with the sets, okay? So this right here in the front row right here is our classic set. Alrighty, so you actually have your freedom skillet right here. This is what we actually in other shows cook a frozen rock solid chicken into a juicy red and eat chicken in 12 minutes. Alrighty, you can put uh, potatoes in here, eggs, anything and everything that you want in the skillet, you can do. Alrighty, so then we also have our one quart. This is what we cooked all of our vegetables in. How did we cook all those vegetables in this one quart? We didn't fill it up with water. We did not fill it up with water, guys. Without water, what does WOW stand for? Without water. Without water, alrighty. And then, of course, you have the three quart, guys. Think uh, chili, stews, pastas, beans, anything that you want to put in here, you can. But then on top of that, guys, how many of you guys have heard of um, a double boiler? You, you guys? Alright, guys, coffees, teas, caramels, chocolates. You guys can use this right in here just like that. But say 
that you guys want to cook a small roast. Easy peasy. All of our sets have a Dutch oven accessibility right here. Now, this is really great if you want to do small roast birds, anything like that, but also, as you see in this picture, you can cook ears of corn without water in this right here, alrighty? But more importantly, say that you have your small roast right here, how many of you guys have ever heard of stack cooking? Few of you guys. Mm, couple. Very few. And the reason for that is not a lot of quick work can do stack cooking. Kitchen craft is one of the only ones. And the reason for that is because of the seven layers, all right? Through and through. What did we learn? It's seven layers from the bottom all the way up to the very top, holding in that heat, which allows you to stack up to three high, all right? So then you can put this on and still going to cook at 180 degrees, all right? And then you put this right here. And what is that going to do? One burner saves you money, all right? So you're cooking your stews right here and your vegetables right here, a whole meal all in one on one burner at the same time. A lot of money, time, energy, you're good. Also, during the holidays, this is really good because you're gonna have, uh, if your holidays are anything like our family's holidays, you are gonna have all four burners stacked three high. It's hot it. in the kitchen too. And it gets hot in the kitchen in the summertime too. So put it on one burner and save both time, heat, and energy. Save your AC bill, okay? You save about a dollar every time you cook with this cookware. Yeah. Because it cooks like that. Because it cooks like that. Now, a lot of you guys are wondering, well, all right, where do we put this? We already have our new. Well, guys, get rid of the old and bring in the new. This and the is great. the reason I say that really is because all of the kitchen craft sets are made to stack up into a 12-inch cabinet. Oh, my. Yes. Like that. Guys, we live in an RV. We live in an RV. It is not an RV. It is a tiny, tiny pull-behind trailer. We don't have a lot of room. No. This takes care of it in one cupboard. Right. And all the lids come inside the piece you're looking for. So and there's no more digging around like you heard earlier. Right there. No. So you can box it up or you can hang it up and show it off. Go ahead. I What's know really you love cool this about part. This is, one of my favorite parts is all the lids lock together on the pieces just like this. As you are looking at the best, this is the only cookware I understand in America, which makes it the best cookware in the world. Is that wrong? Nope. I'm sorry, not. Is that right? Alright. Wow. So, you guys off. have that. Now, guys, this is our classic set. This is really good for two to three people. Um, even a single person, this is going to be a great set for you. Now, you go to your family set. Guys, family set is just the same thing. Just they made two. it easy on me. Your one quart comes at two, your three quart comes at six. Your fries get a little bigger, your two quarter comes at four. Your fries get a little bigger. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Uh, so it's basically the same thing you guys have the classic, only twice the size. Yeah, so, so again, one quart becomes a two quart, your three quart becomes a six quart, and then the bigger fryers. Nice, right? yeah. And it still does come with that Dutch oven um, and the double boiler features to it as well. If now, you guys put that with mm -hmm. this, right, we're doing now, that's the deluxe. Yeah. You know, I've been told, man. So the box is what we got because we wanted to be one and done. We buy our last set first. Uh, we haven't looked back, but it's those two put together. And, and that fits in our RV, guys. That is how easy Kitchen Craft makes it for you. Alrighty. Mm -hmm. And go ahead. I know. Oh, <laughs> We're ready to out to this side. We also have the, the saute skillet. So we do um, one or two. If Lauren's got, I'll do one or two eggs just for me in this. Um, cook some up just fine. I got to throw in competitions. There's Spots on the ceiling from how high you toss the egg, but it is a gorgeous saute skillet. But I love breakfast. Lauren, if you could take that off while I explain it. This is our midnight skillet. Uh, fourth meal, you know, midnight, we're waking up. I'm talking about sausage, eggs, potatoes, toast on the same burner, seven layers thick. The midnight skillet loves you the most, guys. I love breakfast. Like the batcher scramble works perfectly on here. I'm going to hand this out so you can actually feel what real cookware feels like. Go ahead. Now, if you guys want those, and every other pot and pan that you see up here, guys, that is called the works. Alrighty. So, I guess, I guess we should ask them how they got here. Yeah. You guys, how, how are we out here today? You know, I know Kitchen Craft is celebrating a very, very long birthday. You guys drive here today? Walk here, drove. Most of you drove in a car, right? Is it your first car? No, no, no. Not the way things are built today. Is it gonna be your last? Not exactly. No. Well. Yeah. Back in the day, this cookware, about what, 30 years ago, a car was what, three grand? And this cookware is about $300. Mm -hmm. Dollar for dollar, seven layers of the finest metal. 
Oh, man, I can only imagine the savings and what you could do with this is made for kids, kids, kids. Who agrees with just a little bit more and family's worth it? Exactly right. Cool. Mm -hmm. You guys, everybody here knows somebody or maybe been affiliated or afflicted by internal cancers or heart diseases. When's a good time to invest in your house? Yesterday ain't gonna work. Tomorrow's no good either. Today, we do it now. It's no brainer. So let's get to it. All right, guys. Well, last but not least, um, I want to go ahead and show you guys real quick the gourmet cooker, you guys. Now, how many of you would cook in with a crock pot? A few of you guys? All righty. Well, the number one thing and number one complaint with a crock pot is either the inserts break and you have to buy a new one, or it burns everything on the sides, or last but not least, it's super hard to clean with this cord attached because it's attached to the insert. All righty. So, what if you made a crock pot that came off of the burner? Well, guys, Kitchen Craft has your answers for you. They listen to what people want and they create cookware off of that. All righty. So, guys, we are looking at the gourmet cooker. This is Kitchen Craft's crock pot, but again, seven layers, no water, no burning on the edges. It's good to go all day, every day. And the reason for that is because it's an easy cleanup. You don't have to make it sit in soapy water for a day after you cook it. It comes Whoa, off right what? Yeah. Wait a second. Yeah, and then you have another burner ready to go, okay? So you want to turn your stove on, just use this burner, plug it in, or use the whole crock pot. Now, the easiest thing for that, though, is that if you ever want to put the remainder of the crock pot into the oven, all the handles are oven safe. Now guys, even better, if we went over to your house for dinner, and you guys were cooking something in the crock pot. Mmm, lasagna or something, smell right? It. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so we'd smell it in the air, all the vapors, they get lost mm -hmm. in the aromas and stuff. If we were cooking something here, you'd smell it. Right? I mean, it's crock pot. I mean, and if we were cooking something. If we were cooking something. Well guys, we love this our This is jobs. awesome. Matt, do the I will. In here, guys, we started this today. Mm -hmm. Right here, we have... Lauren, if you will, a seven, wow, a seven pound bird dressed to impress. What we did is we put a pound of dry rice, and put a dry bird in here, dressed it with the veggies, and we seasoned it, we put the lid on, and we walked away. So this is just our dinner tonight. We can't give you guys this one. <laughs> well, and then on top of that, you guys, this is our seven pound bird. Now, right? Well, guys, this is our seven pound bird, right? But a lot of people have been asking us, why don't you guys make a six quart gourmet cooker. Again, I just said, Kitchen Craft listens to what people want in their kitchen and they create it off of that. Well guys, let me introduce to you guys the six quart. Whoa, gourmet flying cooker. saucer? As we say, flying saucer, yes. Guys, this is great because it is uh, twice as big, but then on top of that, it has a fat rack. Why don't you want to explain Yeah, features? absolutely, this fat rack, it is great. The six quart came out, but we added the fat rack and the pan handler here. Fat rack's great. Like right in the bottom, any of your roasts, your birds, any rotisserie you get shellfish. We've seen clams, mussels, oysters, crab in there. What's great about this is we have the pan handler now. This little guy you see holding up will fit on any of our handles of any of our cats. Uh, it's just in nails, or you just want to get your hands there, you can go ahead and grab that. Even cooler than that, grab your lids, slide it on any of your pieces here, and you have a drip lid, or you want to season up or show off your turkey at Easter or mom's birthday, you know? Yeah. So it's great stuff. This is a very, very hot item. It's one of our best sellers now. I think it is our best seller. It is. Now, how many of you guys, if we did give one out at the end of the show today to someone, how many of you would want this for free? Right. <laughs> yeah, exactly. right. Exactly. Well, hold up. Maybe we can do something about that, okay? Yeah. Um, so, so, Matt, do you want to explain if they went to Walmart? Yeah, I was gonna say we're talking free. Let's talk some number. That's why we call this the most expensive set, guys. Because you guys you burn the food, you burn the pan, you throw it away, you buy it again. You burn the food, you burn the pan, you throw it away, you buy it again. You guys get the picture. That's why it's expensive. It's not good for you. It's definitely not good on your wallet. Definitely not good on your house. All right, guys. So you go to Walmart, spend hundreds of thousands of dollars on that, or a couple rides to the hospital there. Um, but even more than that, what I want to do here is show you guys. Higher end cookware. As <laughs> if so you can't see enough. Who here's priced higher end cookware here before? It's not cheap, guys. I have like Williams, Macy's, like Dillard's, so like, Williams Sonoma's huge. At the top of the line cookware right here is fifty-five hundred dollars. It's good cookware, and I'm not gonna stuff. It's good stuff. It has a lifetime warranty, but on what? Just on the handles. And their metal's not even made in America. Lauren, can you show them something? I can't. Right on the bottom of that? Christine, you've been really helpful today. What does 
that say on the bottom right there? Made in Italy. Made in Italy. So we're all over the place. It's not so fancy now. Yeah. You know, uh, what's great about this is uh, this band's actually about a four hundred dollar band. Uh, ours is a lot less expensive than that. And you're gonna have it forever. All right. So speaking of prices, let's go over a few prices. I just needed out the color brochures to you guys. So look right here. As you will see, there are no prices on this color brochure, and the reason for that. Our boss is gone. <laughs> so what we're gonna go ahead and do though is we're gonna go ahead and fill in the prices because we do come to impress with the show prices that we have right here today for you guys. Alrighty, so everyone have your pens. Alright, good. Okay. So go ahead, you see right up top in the left right or left top hand corner right here, you're gonna go say the skillet and the midnight skillet, the saute pan and the midnight skillet. So go ahead and write down two nine five. On that price right there, two nine five. Both of those for only two nine five. You guys buy it once and you're done. Then you go over to the kitchen cutter, guys. How many people just love this kitchen cutter already from what you guys have seen as much as we do? Oh yeah. Exactly. Well, guys, the kitchen cutter retails in any commercial kitchen store at four hundred dollars, and that's actually made in China. Alrighty, guys. Today, this kitchen cutter is a hundred percent made in the USA. And today only, you can get this kitchen cutter for your home for only two seven five. So write that down two seven five. Alrighty, perfect. Um, then you guys also have the gourmet cooker. Okay, this is what we have our seven pound chicken in right now. Gourmet cooker, guys, that comes off the burner. You have an extra burner with you, guys. This one is only three eight nine. So go ahead and write down three eight nine. Now you'll see that we don't have this spaceship looking one right here. And why is that? Because we just came out with it already. So with the spaceship, what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and write down the price. Because even with the fat box, the pan handler, that comes with it all. It's, and twice a day, it's only $200 more. So go ahead and write down 589 $589. All right, guys. Then we saw the classic set. This is our classic set. That's perfect for anywhere from two to three people or a single person themselves, alrighty? And that classic set is actually gonna be only 1795. Now let me ask you a question. Who here has bought a laptop in the last 10 years? Probably that same price. Probably too, that right? same price. And how much is that laptop worth now? Zero. Nothing. We're gonna pay someone to get rid of it. Exactly. Well guys, you buy this cookware one time and it's forever. If anything works on it, breaks on it, we cover that for you guys. You're gonna have this forever to your kids, kids, kids. We'll have this and thank you for that, all right? Talk about a legend, all right? So let's go ahead and go down to the family set, guys. That is the classic set, just twice as big, what you see right back here. That family set, I think they call it family set because it's just the same price as a family a cell phone plan. But what do you do with family cell phone plans? You pay it over and over and over again. Guys, this family set, you pay one time and you are done. You just get to use it over and over and over again forever. So guys, this one is only 2195. So go ahead and write down 2195. Alrighty. And then you have the deluxe set. That's what Matt and I have. Why did we get the deluxe set? We're well, guys, done. one, we're done. Two, it fits into our RV. All those pots and pans fit into our RV. That is the only sets that I know that will ever fit into the RV, and it does. Alrighty. So with that deluxe set too, you guys actually save seven hundred dollars rather than just buying the classic or the family. So that is only going to be 3295. 3295. Save yourself money right now and you're done forever. Then, on top of that, guys, if you want everything that we have to offer, guys, that's only 4995. So go ahead and write down 4995. All right? Both of those are actually less expensive than one ride in the ambulance to the hospital. When is the time to start with your health? <coughs> right now. Exactly. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and do something fun real quick. Um, let's go ahead and circle the set that you think would best fit your family. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and circle that set. Alright. Alright guys, now look up here. What if I told you that no matter what set you guys circle, today you guys can afford and you guys can get that's right. So the reason for that is, guys, Kitchen Craft wants you guys to start living healthy, all right? That means that they have a layaway program for you guys. What that means is that you can uh, put this on layaway, and then once it's all paid off, 
you guys will receive your cookware. Guys, the layaway program is so great that no matter what set you get, it is only going to cost you less than what a donut and a coffee would cost you every single morning. No How many of you can agree that your health is worth more than a donut and a coffee? Exactly. Now guys, even better, if you guys want to uh, go ahead and put it on a three payment plan. So you don't want to put it on layaway, you want a three payment plan because you want your cookware right now. We're going to send you the cookware on a three payment, cookware, uh, three payment plan right now. And then you continue to pay it off for the rest of those two payments. And then you already have your cookware good to go. It's called the honor system. Wait. We just send them the cookware, what they want, mm -hmm. and then they enjoy it, and then we just kind of hope they're going to pay us? Yeah, it's called the honor system. We don't take credit scores. We don't do socials, anything like that. It is the honor system, you guys. You get to enjoy the cookware while you're paying it off. That's pretty That's cool. That's pretty cool. We're just so sure we're gonna love, they're going to love that cookware. Yeah, and another thing, guys, if you want to just go ahead and pay it off all in full, we do take Visa, MasterCard, Discover, and American Express. Now, the number one thing that we get, guys, that we handle all the time is I don't have the right card on me. I want my Southwest card because I want to use the miles. You guys, you might as well get the miles and get amazing cookware forever. And then go ahead and fill out all the opportunity forms. Once you do that, we'll call you guys at the end of the show. So you can go home, get the right card in your hands, and then we'll just write down the card number after that for you guys, okay? We do that at least three times a day for everybody. So uh, you're not alone on this one. Not everyone carries the right card with them. So we'll go ahead and call you guys and get that. Now, another great thing, though, is when you guys do get your cookware, you guys also get three cookbooks. You guys get two DVDs, including one just about. Just for the cutter. Then you also get the stainless steel cleaner. And then on top of that, they get free gifts. You guys get free gifts. We told you guys would get a gift. We did say you guys would be getting a gift. So, Matt, go ahead. We're glad you guys stuck around with us today, because Lauren, if you don't mind, I will go ahead. Up here for a second. But guys, with any set today, any payment, if you guys can make a decision before our next show, we want to give you guys the kitchen cutter for free. Absolutely free. It's Terminator, guys. You guys saw what we did. If I can do it, you can do it. I just want to give you guys this a gift. You guys have been awesome coming out here. We love seeing you guys here at the show. Come out here every year and hope we see you guys next year. And I want to get you guys back. By giving you guys this. So any set, any payment that we do today, any you guys that want before our next show, we'll get you guys covered for free. And what you guys do is you guys go ahead and flip over to that opportunity page right here. Um, right above the kitchen cutter, right next to it, you're gonna go ahead and put free. F-R-E-E. -E. Just put a check there, free. And then yeah. up, up at the top, what we added this year, we're gonna have a lot of fun with what you liked about kitchen craft. All right, it could be healthier, the warranty, the speed. The savings, how much money you can save, the taste, I mean, that was pretty crazy. 100% uh, American made, or you put even the chefs right here. Put some comments like, Matt more fun, let's get back, <laughs> you know? So, a little fun spot we can do that, but we want to give this guy to you guys, thank you. Absolutely, and then on top of that, guys, go ahead and fill up in your name, your number, and the address that you guys want to ship to, alrighty? And then on top of that, your email address. Guys, we send you a recipe every single month for you guys to try with your kitchen craft, cookware. Alrighty, so don't forget that address. And then on top of that, um, we're going to go ahead and what we're going to do is you're going to go ahead and uh, check off the payment plan that you want to use. So the cash check, Visa, American Express. But guys, more importantly, let me go ahead and ask you guys. I told you guys I was going to quit you guys. What was your favorite thing about the cookware? Speed. The, the speed? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is extremely quick. What was your favorite thing about the cookware? Not, you liked Matt's jokes. Mm, right. Yeah, thanks. What was the crap laser? And what was your favorite thing about the cookware, Christine, besides being the celebrity chef? How easy it was, right? The vapor, the vapor seal. Yeah, it's amazing that way. American A, 100%. Yeah. All right, you guys. Well, guys, we really appreciate you guys coming here. In fact, we, Matt and I are actually fairly new to the company, right? And so when we sell stuff, we actually get bonuses. And can you guys guess what those bonuses are? Cookware. It's cookware. We, we, we're iffy about that first book, now we're loving it because we get to transfer it to you guys. So. Exactly. Well, and what's great about the cookware too, guys, you guys can put this, I know that this is actually a survival green show. Guys, this is, like we mentioned before, 100% safe over open fire. On top of that, save your water for drinking, alrighty? We don't want it, 
you guys to waste your water on killing all the vitamins and nutrients out of your vegetables. We want you guys to save the water for drinking and have all the vitamins and nutrients left in your food. That is the point of Kitchen Craft. Always about health, thinking, full planning. And with Kitchen Craft, it's really easy to take an RV or camp with or hike with. We live it. We live it. We love it. Yeah. We're glad we know you guys will too. Mm -hmm. So because we get bonuses though, guys, there's only three of you guys left here. I'm glad there is only three. And I'm really excited about that because what that allows us to do is give you guys one more gift. So there's going to be one more gift in one more box that comes to your door. And what that gift was is earlier to, in the show, I asked you guys who would like a free forming cooker if we gave it out for free. Well, guys. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. I and Matt are going to go ahead and throw in the forming cooker for absolutely free with any set, any payment today. Alrighty, so not only do you guys get the kitchen cutter, you guys get the gourmet cooker as well with the extra burner. Now, what you're going to do though is you're going to go flip over your opportunity page that you guys are filling out right now. Go ahead and above the kitchen cutter, write gourmet cooker. You'll see gourmet cooker's not on here because we never do this. We never get to do this. So, go ahead and write gourmet cooker on there. And then next to it, write gift. Alright, so go ahead and write gift next to it. Now Matt's going to go around and initial it so that they know that we approved of it and it's going to come out of our bonuses for you guys. So go ahead Matt, and go ahead and do that. Now guys, also in there, make sure you write thoroughly on and through all three copies. Alrighty. Write Chef's Lauren and Matt up here and the date. Matt and I are going to be coming around and we're going to go ahead and um, help you guys finish writing out the um, opportunity form and then also answer any questions that you guys have, okay? So um, let's go ahead and do that right now, and uh, we'll see you guys soon. How many people do you cook for? Six, nice. All right. Very How nice. many people do you cook for? Okay, and you have the family set on there. That's perfect. All right, so with the family set, um, that's going to be perfect for you guys. So you're going to write down family set right here, and that's actually where you get the gourmet cooker and the kitchen cutter for free, too. That's awesome. Yeah, I know. It's over $700 for free. Okay, for it. Yeah. All right, so we're going to go ahead and finish this out. Great. Well, thanks, guys. We really appreciate it.